Hi, I'm Stephanie Catalano, licensed clinical social worker and personal development author. Welcome to Mindful Makeover, a podcast for women who want to learn how to live mindfully, become deliberate thinkers, and align with their true essence and most authentic self. The fact that you're here with me not only tells me you're ready to begin reaching your highest potential, but also sends a powerful message to the universe. I've had an opportunity to work with hundreds of women to help them tap into their inner power and create the life they desire, and nothing makes me feel more alive than to be a witness to a person's individualized transformation and growth. If you're ready to achieve your mindful makeover and create the life you desire, then let's get started. Each episode will leave you feeling educated, empowered, and elevated. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Mindful Makeover podcast. I can't believe this is episode 12. It feels like just yesterday I was dreaming about this podcast, and here we are. So, as always, I thank you all for joining me each week. And for this week's episode, I feel led to talk about the absolute need to stop comparing and competing. Once upon a time, I struggled with this, and I still do sometimes. I think it's only human nature to compare and compete to some level, but it really is time to stop. Social media makes it incredibly easy to do both. I understand that, especially when it comes to comparing, because let's be real, all you have to do is open your Instagram app, and right there, the first thing you see is probably something or someone that makes it easy to think, I wish I had that, or I wish I was that. But here's the thing, all comparing and competing does is cause separation, and beyond that, It takes you out of reach for what you desire, meaning it takes you out of alignment for what you desire. Most people are only showing you what they want to see anyways on social media. We all are to some degree. And the reality is we're humans. Therefore, we all experience the discomfort of life sometimes, but very few people are actually going to show that on their Instagram feed. So the point is don't get too caught up in what people are showing on their feed or on their pages. When you compare and compete, it creates the energy of lack, meaning let's say if you're focused on she has this and I don't, that indicates you're lacking something in your life or you don't have all that you need or you desire. And when you live in this space with a lack mentality, it will only keep you further and further away from what you actually desire. I have learned through my professional and personal experience When we spend time focusing on someone, somebody, something, it separates us from everyone, everybody, and everything. And even though this may be difficult to understand and internalize, the reality is me and you, we are a part of all that is. We are what makes all that is. But when you spend time just super focused on that one thing, that one person, It really does separate you from everything that you are and everything that's available to you. Each one of us are so brilliantly created and we are all so individually beautiful and unique. I truly believe we all have abilities, gifts, and talents, some the same, some different, but the reality is even with those that there might be some similarity, nobody can do anything like we do and that's what makes us so unique and so special. So don't ever let someone else's success, their looks, their lifestyle, or anything for that matter, dim your light or make you feel less than, and certainly don't let any one person hold you back from creating the life you desire. I get this can be way easier said than done, and I get that because I lived many, many years feeling less than, not good enough, and inadequate, but through my years of healing and my commitment to my own spiritual practices, I've come to understand my underlying fear and where it stems from. And the reality is all of this, when it comes to comparing and competing and feeling less than it's coming from the core issue of fear, fear of success, fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of not being accepted, fear of not being good enough, whatever it may be, it's always coming from a place of fear. And I know that this might seem easier said than done. But once you get to that place where you recognize what's underneath the comparing, what's really holding you back from going out there and creating whatever it is you see on so-and-so's Instagram that you want, what's really holding you back? And when you get to that place and you begin to have the shift of really knowing that you are enough and you have everything you need inside of you 
to truly evolve, reach your highest potential, and create the life you desire, no matter what that looks like, something magical happens. And I know not everybody will create this perspective of we are all one, but the fact that you're listening to this podcast tells me there's something inside of you that is hungry for more, that is hungry to evolve, that is hungry to reach your highest potential. And being stuck in the cycle and the addiction of comparing and competing will only hold you back and keep you stuck. When we celebrate each other, when we cheer for each other, and when we clap for each other, it actually aligns us closer to what we desire because we are then in the space of a feel good emotion, which by the way, it's our emotions that emit energy and it's our energy that attracts. I'm gonna say that again because it's really important. Our emotions emit energy and it's our energy that attracts. So in other words, if you're comparing, which doesn't feel good, it's a low vibration, that means you're in that space of emitting a low emotion and therefore will continue to attract people, places, things, and life events that will match that low vibration, right? Just as if you're celebrating, cheering, and clapping for others, that makes you feel good. And when you feel good, you emit a feel-good emotion or the energy of a feel-good emotion, which will then attract what it is that you desire. It took me a long time to realize this, but the reality is there is absolutely an overflow of love and joy available to each of us but it is our job to create it and cultivate it, to live in alignment with it. There is enough in the universe to go around and around and around. So in other words, just because you might see someone on Instagram or in your circle of friends or just in your day-to-day life that might have X, Y, and Z and you really want X, Y, and Z, there is nothing saying you can't have X, Y, and Z. The reality is if that's what you want, then it's up to you to make that decision and go out there and get it. And you don't have to do much to get it. And I'm gonna get to that later on in this episode. It's really impossible to stay aligned with the energy of love and joy when you're comparing and competing simply because it doesn't feel good. I know it doesn't feel good because I struggled with it for years. And even to this present moment, if I find myself getting in that realm of comparing, I know it doesn't feel good. It actually feels awful. And it's important that you get out of that realm when you notice you're in it. When you compare, it decreases your confidence, it decreases your self-esteem, and it causes anxiety and magnifies fear to the point it will cripple you and hold you back from being able to move forward in your life. I'm sure you all have had that moment where you're on Instagram and next thing you know, an hour goes by because this person's page took you to this model's page and that model's page took you to this entrepreneur's page and that entrepreneur's page took you to this public figure's page and before you know it, another hour has gone by and now you've spent so much time sitting there comparing, wishing you had this or that and the reality is you just robbed yourself of time and it's not going to get you any closer to what it is that you want. In fact, it's doing the opposite. And yes, is it easy to fall into this trap Of course it is. I'm not at all saying don't ever spend time on Instagram or check out different people's pages. You do what you want to do. That's the beauty of this. You get to decide. But what I'm getting at is never, ever, ever tell yourself something is wrong with you for not having what you see so-and-so has on their Instagram. There is an infinite field of possibilities available to each and every one of us, but it is our individual responsibility to create the life we desire. You do not reach your highest potential and you do not turn your dreams into reality just by thinking it one time and then ta-da. It would be pretty cool if it worked like that, but it doesn't. It requires willingness and consistent effort and work. It requires taking your ideas and taking steps of action to make it more than just an idea in your head or more than just a dream or a vision in your head. But the beauty is when you're working towards what it is you want, it actually doesn't feel like work because it's pretty rewarding. Society somehow has tried to convince us that anything worth having requires this hard, hard work, and it's actually not true. I think sometimes that message that we've received from society keeps people from showing up and going after what they want because they have this belief that it's going to be so hard and that it's going to take so much time, and it's really that belief that's delaying you. You don't have to work that hard to have what you want, but what you have to do is stay aligned with what you want.
I'm going to say that one again too. You don't have to work that hard to have what you want, but what you have to do is stay aligned with what you want, aligned with your purpose, aligned with your why, right? Why are you doing what you're doing? Living intentional, put forth the work, be consistent, do the work with ease, do the work in faith, get back up when you fall down, release all judgment of yourselves and others, stop comparing. No one is going to deliver your desires. So I invite you to get clear on what you want. Most people, if not all, they are searching for that thing outside of them, whether it's more money, the job, the relationship, the car, because they believe it's that which will make them feel good. But that's not how it works. You must decide to feel good starting right now, and then you must stay committed to feeling good, and by doing so, you will begin to attract what you desire. It's just how it works. This doesn't mean you're always going to feel good, but what it does mean is no matter what life throws at you, you're committed to coming back to feeling good, and you do this as many times as you need to. So here's one thing you can do when life throws a curveball. I call this my A plus A equals C method. So the first A is to become aware when you're drifting away from feeling good. You become aware by noticing it and acknowledging what has caused you to not feel good. The second A is then you take a step of action to bring you one step closer to feeling good. This will depend on circumstances, right? So in some cases, it will be easier to bounce back. In other cases, it might not be easy to bounce back because of the circumstances, right? Meaning, let's say it's you were hoping to get a call back about your dream job and you did it and now you don't feel good. Okay, well, you can probably more easily move back to feeling good as compared to if let's say you got fired from your job and now you're up against financial hardship or you lost a loved one or something of that nature. So I want you to know though, regardless of what the circumstances are, always know you have the power to take one step of action to bring you closer to feeling good. And what I mean when I say one step of action, anything in that moment that you can think of that's going to help you get one step closer to feeling good in that moment. And the reason for that is it's to keep you in the momentum of moving forward in your life. It's to keep you in the momentum of living as if and allowing yourself just to be no matter what comes your way. Because what happens is if you don't take that one step of action, it is so, so easy to get stuck. And before you know it, Hours go by, days go by, weeks go by, even sometime months and years, and next thing you know, you are stuck, and it's all because you didn't decide to take that one step of action to bring you back to feeling good. And the point is, once you take that one step of action to get closer to feeling good, guess what? When you feel a little bit better, that allows you to take that next step to feeling a little bit better again. And you get the point, right? The better you feel, the better you're able to do. So going back to the A plus A equals C method, the C stands for change. So the first A is awareness, the second A is action, and the C is change. So A plus A equals C, meaning once you're aware and you take a step of action, you're able to create change. And that's what this is all about. I want you guys to know no matter what, each and every one of you, you and only you have the power to create the change you want to see in your life. So as I wrap up this episode, I will leave you with this. It's time to stop comparing, to stop competing, and it's time to connect, to collaborate, to cultivate, to create, to congratulate. Underneath it all, it is fear, fear of not being good enough, of failing, of rejection, and the list goes on. Affirm with me. Let there be no fear and let there be love. Together we are one, together we are stronger. Thank you for joining me today. If you found today's episode to be insightful and inspiring, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And I kindly ask that you please leave me a review so together we can help the next person. If interested in scheduling, coaching, counseling, public speaking, or workshops, check out www themindfulliving.com and come connect with me on Instagram at mindfulliving.now where I share daily inspiration, mindful skills, tips, and more. 
Mindful Makeover 30 Day Workbook and Guide for Women is available on Amazon, or you can find the link on my website and in my Instagram bio. Until the next episode, stay mindful and always remember the power that lives inside of you.